Ja, hallo. Uh, thank you, Rüdiger, for the kind invitation. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, and what I would like to do tonight is uh, to introduce my recent research work uh, with the title Performing Surgery. And I will do this in the form of a screening and will uh, give you a short comments to the movies that will be presented. Making movies during surgeries, I'm not particularly interested in heart surgery, but uh, also in various surgical fields. And my research interest is, is really on, on the work of surgeons and not only uh, on the craft, but also on the emotional work. So I'm particularly uh, fascinated by how surgeons would approach the body, how surgeons would reach into the body. And um, because th this is also an interpersonal way of, of dealing with people. And I think that the relationship between surgeons and uh, patients is a very important one. So it's not so easy to put your body in the hands of a surgeon. So that's my basic interest. And what I would like to show and to present you uh, tonight is on the one hand, my research approach. So I'm doing this work with the choreographer, the Viennese choreographer, Doris Stelzer, who is particularly interested in the movement work of surgery. And then I'm working together with the visual artist Barbara Graf, and she is dealing uh, with drawing. So she's working with drawing. And uh, some years ago, I uh, recognized that uh, surgeons are also fantastic drawers and even painters. And they also would do drawings for their patients. And uh, it's not only to transfer knowledge uh, to the patients with, with drawing, with doing drawings for them. But it's uh, much more that trust relationships are also um, being formed due the, uh, 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 through this process of drawing. So this, that's the three persons who are working together in this project. And what you've seen now is a 60 millimeter movie which I did in interventional radiology. That's the field where the blood flow is uh, investigated and treated. And now we continue directly to heart surgery. So that's the beginning. That's the first cut of an open heart surgery. And um, as you can see, I tried to uh, find another aesthetic way of, of working with this particular material. And also, I work a lot with close-up, for instance, because I'm particularly fascinated by the haptic and the tactile qualities of surgery. So by things like how would a surgeon touch the body? Would a heart surgeon touch the body in a different way than, for instance, a belly surgeon? And I will show you now three different 16 millimeter movies. Um, this one is uh, a valve operation. So it's an operation on the open heart and you directly gaze into the into the body. So now you still see the beating heart. And in a moment, uh, the person is connected with the heart-lung machine. And then you will recognize that the heart would not beat anymore. And yeah, so it's a very, it's very sensitive procedures that I try to capture with my camera. And why I'm working with analog film is also because I'm not so much interested in surgery as a spectacle or as this kind of setting where uh, bodies are cut open and where you, 
gaze right into the opened body, but I'm more interested in the movement of hands, in how how is this work structured in a way, and how uh, do surgeons connect their own bodies and their own bodiliness with the bodies of the patients. And that's my research field already for many, many years, not particularly in surgery, but in also in other medical fields. So I'm, I'm working at the General Hospital in Vienna already for 15 years. And I started to do this work in radiology because I was, uh, by then I was particularly interested in how radiologists would gaze into the body, how patients would deal with the images of their body and with this kind of documentation, uh, with things uh, like uh, who is the owner of these images, um, how do patients perceive themselves on radiological pictures, and things like that. And from that on, I developed one project after the other at the at the medical university, and now I ended up uh, to attend uh, surgical operations and to really uh, um, conduct a highly collaborative uh, project with physicians of various fields. So it's not only surgeons I'm working with, but it's also oncologists or internal doctors, and uh, so I'm. Just uh, today in the morning, for instance, I was at the intensive care unit on, and to visit the patient. So I also try to bring together the perspective of the patient with the perspective of surgeons and all these kind of bodily layers that are in the play. So that was the heart surgery. And now we move on to belly surgery. Belly surgery is a very, very interesting field, uh, at least from my perspective, um, because you will see it then in the 60 millimeter movie um, that the body has a particular, I don't, I don't really don't know how to put this in words. I think it's much better to perceive this on, uh, with the movie than then I can say it, or then um, I can talk about it. Um, I had the feelings when I attended belly surgeries that the body is somehow transformed in a, in a garment. So it's not so much that the surgeons would, of course they reach in, inside of the body, but what they also do before they, are, for instance, operate on the pancreas because the patient has a tumor on the pancreas, uh, they need to um, lay the other organs, like the, the bowels or the parts of the stomach and the other bodily structures outside. And then they cover these structures um, with... Uh, what is it, with textile tissues. And so, so the inside of the body is laying outside on the body. It's, it's really like a garment in a way. And then they reach inside and operate in, in a very fine and sensible way directly on the body. And that's already the beginning of this uh, kind of operation, as I said before. It's a pancreas operation, and you see that the body is very much covered before the surgeons start with their work, so you only see the operating field. The rest of the body is covered. And uh, on the side of the head of the patient, the anesthetists would do their work, and uh, with my in this case, I'm staying with the camera on the feet side of the patient, of the person. And I use a very strong zoom lens on my uh, 60 millimeter Bolex so that I come really, really close. And I ex 
exclusively work with close-up images. So I'm exclusively working on the hand movements and on how the surgeons would touch the body, how the surgeons would work on particular structures, how the surgeon would sew the body, how they would put the body together again after surgery. And maybe we simply watch for a moment this, this short movie and then we move on to the next field, which is actually orthopedic surgery, which is completely different in a way. So you see now the structures of the body are really outside of the body. They are laying there, they are covered and, and then the physicians move inside, so to say. And also how they lead the instruments. It's, it's, I think it's really comparable with how we would uh, write, how we would hold the pencil and how we would work with drawing instruments or utensils. It's very fine movement. It's not like that, you, that you do things like that. Maybe in orthopedic surgery you would do that, but not in belly surgery or in heart surgery. That's very tender in a way. So th that's actually the, that was the growth that they really removed out of the body and that is being sent to, uh, to the pathologist to make the histology. This is also, that's the spleen that they also removed because with pancreas operation it's very often the case that you need to also remove the spleen. And now they put all these structures inside the body again and close the body. So that's already the end of the operation. Uh, and what I do with these 60 millimeter movies, that's maybe as a concept also quite uh, interesting, that um, I edit the material only in the camera. So I would not edit the material afterwards because I do not want to cut in the material. That's also a way for me to deal with surgery because in surgery it's also an analog procedure and they work with editing in a different way, but they also don't have the possibility to, to edit after the operation. So they also need to edit everything, so to say, during the operation because afterwards it would be too late, of course. So I somehow, try to use a mimetic way um, to capture these procedures. And now we are already uh, in orthopedic surgery, where the surgeons would use many instruments, of course. As you can see, that's the operation of a spine. So he's, he's operating actually here in the lower part of the spine. And he is, as the surgeon is stiffening two vertebras because the, the patient suffered of many, many uh, prolapses and could hardly move anymore. And this woman is very sporty. And of course, she wanted to be able to make sports again. And so he would ask the surgeon to, the, to do this surgery. And here you see, I really had a very hard time to find a way um, to capture orthopedic surgery in a, in a form that, that I find aesthetically appealing. Because they really use the hammer and the screwdriver and, and things like that in their work. And um, my first operation, which I attended in, in orthopedic surgery, uh, was a hip 
prosthesis. So a very classical operation. And I was shocked. I thought, okay, I cannot, I, I, I cannot do that anymore. I cannot uh, attend surgeries in, in, in orthopedic surgery <laughs> because it's, it, it was so difficult for me to, to be there and to see and to watch what they did with this body. It was really, really hard. And then I, I realized that, of course, when you work on the bones, uh, that the bone needs this resistance and that you also can touch bones or treat bones in a sensitive way. And then I thought, okay, maybe uh, an operation on the spine is a good way of capturing this kind of sensibilities. And, and yeah, it's, it's on you to decide uh, if I was successful in my <laughs> way of, of working with orthopedic surgery. I'm, I'm still not sure, but I tried. And now, as a conclusion, we come back to heart surgery because what I actually wanted to, to do in my impulse is um, to say something or to show something about the intimacy and, and also the emotional warmth which is uh, at play in, in, in a field like surgery, which one maybe wouldn't guess at first, but um, working together with surgeons for so many years, I think that this is actually the important thing that, that they do, that they really use their whole body and their, their, their whole emotionality to work on the patients and they are fully present. And as you uh, might have realized, every surgery or every surgical act is a kind of choreography and a kind of performance. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about and to share with you. And thank you for your attention. And I hope we can lead the discussion in German now. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.